<sighs> What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga. I come in at y'all another video, man. <sighs> today, I'm going to talk about today's football game. You had the Philadelphia Eagles losing to the Los Angeles Rams 19-37 to to fall to 0-2 the first time with 0-2 in the Doug Peterson slash Carson Wentz era. Um, before I get into this video, man, every one of you want to give me a file on all of my social media platforms. I'm going to have the descriptions all um, down in the, um, the description box, man. Um, come check me out on those platforms. Um, I may not get, always get a chance to respond to comments on these videos. So um, feel free to DM me, and when I get a chance, I'll get back at you. Um, come out let you, boy, yo. <sighs> you know what? I'm not even as upset this week as I was last week. Last week was a situation where I felt like we let a game get away from us. Um, we lost to a team that I felt like we were better than, and we just gave a game away. This week, you know, I, I, I hate to say it, I've come to the realization, we just not that good of a football team. Like, it, 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 it sucks to feel that way, but honestly, we're not that good of a football team, man. Um, and offensively, love the guy, but honestly, starts with this guy right here. Starts with him, man. When I look in the division, you know, I look at all the quarterbacks in the division, man. You know, clearly we like to compare him to Dak Prescott. You know, Dallas just had a incredible come from behind win to beat Atlanta, which Atlanta has to be the dumbest team in the history of football, the way they just let that ball roll around like that. But I seen a quarterback in Dak who just went out there, kept putting up consistently, you know, making good decisions. I see a quarterback in Daniel Jones who it looks like he lost his running back, Saquon Barkley, to the, for the season. I seen him go out there and he's competing. You know, he's, though he fumbles the ball and stuff like that at times, he's out there competing. Um, and Dwayne Haskins, like last week, I seen him not turn over the football. My guy got it. My guy right now, he, he, it's, 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 it's not going well for him, man. Honestly, third quarter. We down 16 to 21. We down 16 to 21. And we driving the ball. We were down 21 to 3. We driving the ball. And we're going to take the lead. It's been a really good drive, man. We in a great rhythm. Deshaun feeling it. Urge feeling it. And what does he do, man? On first down, nevertheless. What does he do? He forces a ball into double coverage, man. And you know who he's throwing to of all people? J.J. Ortega Whiteside, man. The worst wide, second round wide receiver pick probably in the history of the NFL. That's who you're going to try to throw the ball to in double coverage, man. Like, are you serious right now? The guy is covered. Throw it over on the end zone. And after that interception, I'm like, bro, we're going we gonna, to, he might have just threw the game away right there. Just just killed the momentum. He's not that type of quarterback this season where it's like, oh, okay, don't worry about it. We'll get the ball again. It's a lot for him, man. Like, it, he's struggling with accuracy, and he's struggling with decision-making. Now, today, he was better getting rid of the ball. Dougie P was better at calling plays for him to get rid of the ball. He, he threw it away a couple of times. I can't put this. The offensive line played great today. I don't think Wins got sacked one time, man, and they had Aaron Donald out there. Offensive line was amazing. Miles Sanders, with the exception of fumbling on our first drive, was really good today. We had, he had over 100 yards today. We had a running game. We had an offensive line blocking. Jalen Rager looked it good at times. Deshaun looked it good. Urge got it's, it's, it's him, man. It's him. Like, it's him. He, he does great. He looks great at times, and then he just does something that just makes you want to throw your cap across the room, man. He'll make a bad interception. He'll take a bad sack. He'll fumble the ball, or he'll completely miss an open receiver by being completely inaccurate, man. Like, it's him, man. And clearly, honestly, man, I don't know what we do to fix this thing, man. I really don't because I fear with him is that, you know, maybe he's not a great in-the-pocket quarterback like that. 
He's better on the run, man. But for, they don't put him on the run like that. They leave him in that pocket and he don't have he don't use his legs like that anymore, man. He had one little seven yard scramble, but he don't use his what made him so dominant the year he should have won MVP, the year we won the Super Bowl, was that he used his legs a lot, man. Like he when things wasn't there, he took off. You know, now it's like he holding on to the ball or he's forcing passes, man. I'm concerned. I am completely concerned about, about, about my quarterback, man. Oh, and don't let me get on the defense with Jim Swartz, man. I, I'm, I'm, I've had enough of Jim Swartz, man. I've had enough of Jim Swartz. I've had enough of Howie Roseman, yo. I, I thank both of them for the Super Bowl. Thank you very much. But honestly, with Howie, we already have Fletcher Cox that we have a ton of million of money into. We have Malik Jackson, who we have $10 million a year into. You go get Javon Hargraves for $13 million, man, when we already have two D, D tackles. And he plays today, and I, he didn't make one play. I didn't realize he played until late in the game. He came off the field, and I'm like, oh, he's number 93. He made nothing happen today, man. You got to first – don't even get on the draft picks. Now, granted, he hit on Dallas Goddard. He hit on Miles Sanders. Is okay with Avante Maddox so far, which I don't even think he that good, but he's okay. Man, Derek Barnett, like, we should have went get a, a veteran defensive end, man. You go get Vinny Curry. You go get Vinny Curry. Like, Vinny Curry is not good anymore, man. He's injured now, prayers to him, but before that, he's not any good. You could have got Everson Griffin. You could have got Jadavion Clowney, man. You go back, get Vinny Curry, man. Derek Barnett is not that guy, man. He does nothing out there. Absolutely nothing. We have the worst collection of linebackers to ever walk on an NFL team, man. On field, man. None of our linebackers could make any plays on defense. They make reforce a fumble on special teams, but they do nothing on defense, man. Our linebackers do absolutely nothing, yo. And the secondary, Slay is good. Jalen Mills isn't any good, man. Rodney McLeod is getting older. The Vontae Maddox is not a starting outside corner. At best, he's a third rotational corner. He's a third corner at best, man. And, like, this is where all of our sources go, man. I can't put this one on Dougie P. I thought Dougie Plee called a good game. Miles Sanders was good. The offensive line was good. I put this on my quarterback, and I put this on my defense, my, my defensive coordinator, my defense as a whole, and I, I put it on my general manager because we don't have the personnel defensively to go up against good quarterbacks, man. Jared Goff looked like Joe Montana out there today, yo. They may be better next week just because my guy, Jambalaya Joe, is a rookie. But when they're going up against veteran quarterbacks, they go up against Jerry Goffs and Dak Prescott and Drew Brees, you know, and Ben Roethlisberger, Lamar Jacksons, you know, Kyler Murrays. They go up against these quarterbacks. Our defense will get embarrassed like that each and every single week, yo. Each and every single week, our defense will get embarrassed out there because of the, the, the personnel that we have and the fact that my defensive coordinator could absolutely make no adjustments, man. Uh, it, it's, we're not a good team. Like, we're we not a good team, yo. We have too many. I thought this team was better than what it was. I thought my quarterback was in position to take off and have a great season this year. He's not, he, he's, he looks like a rookie, man. He looks like a rookie. He, he, then there was a play when he threw, I forgot who he threw it to. He threw it away or he threw it to somebody. Dallas got him, ran wide open for a touchdown. He didn't even see him. He didn't even see him. Like, he's not processing what he's seeing on the field. He doesn't know what he's looking at. And he's forcing throws. He holds on to the ball. And at times, he is inaccurate. When there's a guy open, at times, he just, most of the time, he hit him. But then at times, he just inexplicably misses, man. Unbelievable. But, um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. 
Also, this coming Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific, I'm going to do a live Q&A. Come ask me anything, tell me anything, answer your questions, respond to your comments, yo. Um, it'll be some good stuff. Until then, man, y'all have a blessed one. Y'all ain't getting the fly, you was fly to me today.